Humiliated. U.S. judge refuses to call Harry Prince during immigration hearing. Who are you? Prince Harry's privacy will be put on trial today, and it's predicted that both he and Meghan may be worried about the pending sentence. This needs to be resolved whether he was truthful or not during the application process. There is a section that asks about past hard substance abuse, and the applicant must choose yes or no. Conservative think tank the Heritage Foundation is asking how his application can be made public to reveal his answers because of his self-declared use of illegal drugs. He wrote about it in his 2023 memoir, Spare. Daily Express reached out to royal expert Tom Quinn, who said Harry could be in big trouble with his visa issue. He added that he was so used to living in a world where the usual rules didn't apply to him because he was a member of the royal family that it wouldn't have happened to him when he wrote his book. That revelation about possible drug use has significance for his status in the United States. We won't know until the judge makes something of a decision, but Harry and Meghan are going to have a sleepless night over it. The purpose of the case is not to decide whether Harry can stay in the U.S. It's sought to determine whether the Department of Homeland Security was required to disclose the answers he provided on his visa application. The judge explains Harry's immigration hearing with the Heritage Foundation not wanting to refer to Harry as Prince Harry. During the hearing, the judge said it made him uncomfortable. The Constitution stipulates, like the United States does, not recognize any titles. The Department of Homeland Security did not appear because it had given the judge instructions, including ensuring the use of his title. The judge will tell the Heritage Foundation and Homeland Security whether he needs to look more closely at Harry's immigration documents. Harry either lied on his visa application or the government is covering it up, or he has a diplomatic visa, which obviously he probably does. Harry could be expelled, though. The government would have to admit their involvement, or the British government would have to answer why he had diplomatic status. Either way, there would be consequences, no matter how things turned out. It doesn't look very good for Harry. I read that his lawyer said just because he wrote about his hard substance use in his book doesn't mean it's right. He could have exaggerated the truth to sell more books. So, what does that say about anything in the book, or even even anything they've ever said in interviews over the years marketed as an autobiography. A true story of his life is told by him based on the truth, right? Are we resolving conflicts between Spare and his immigration documents? It's a tough question for the Duke of Sussex, or whatever he calls himself, for the money-making opportunity of the day.